they claim I'm fake news. Yeah. I'm showing you here where this is clear fake news. Do you agree some of what you wrote in there at least? Oh, it's pretty sharp. Yeah. Are you going to fix it? <laughs> oh, boy, this is a good one. Can you see my smile? I've had a massive win, no matter what the age reports. Stay with me to the end of this video. I'm going to give you the whole story, including the extraordinary hidden camera footage proving the age is fake news. In December 2020, I filed a story for Rebel News about a suspect trade promotion involving Lance Simon and his gangland lawyer wife, Zara Gard Wilson. If you haven't already seen it, for whatever reason, I encourage you to go watch it. The link is in the description. You can thank me later. Understandably, Miss Gard Wilson wasn't happy with my report. It was pretty damning. Gard Wilson filed a defamation proceeding in the federal court attempting to force us to remove the story entirely and pay her some damages. I want to thank my boss, Ezra, at Rebel News, who instructed our legal team to fight this baseless lawsuit at any cost. He said, and I quote, I back my reporter, to the end, we are not deleting it. Interestingly, though, I'd only become aware of the lawsuit via a laughable article in The Age written by one chief reporter for The Age, Chip Legrand. And to my luck, I happened to bump into the chief reporter in the media section at a lockdown protest recently. It was a perfect opportunity to ask Legrand about his chief fake news. Fortunately, I was still mic'd up when I began to chat to Legrand. I saw that last one you did with what's her name, Zara. How did you know she sued me? Oh, how did I get that writ? Oh, someone at the federal court just tipped me off and said, oh, you might be interested in this because of the personalities. Okay, but what you need to understand is that The Age refuses to report newsworthy stories I'm involved in unless they can paint me badly, which is exactly what Legrand did in this particular article. He went as far as ignoring one of the most fundamental rules of journalism and didn't even give me the right of reply. He didn't bother getting a comment from me. Why didn't you ask me anything? I did. I tried to get in touch with you. Have you changed your number? Funny. Just remember that excuse for later. Anyways. I ducked to my cameraman to tell him to start rolling secretly so I could show you guys how fake the mainstream media really is. I pulled the article up to challenge his lies. I started with the first claim in the report. Uh, who once described himself as a Jewish and after that I found uh, hilarious. Yeah, to did me. Did you watch it? To me. Did you watch that video? Where, yeah, that I did. You? I am the world's proudest Jewish Nazi. Context. Or you didn't understand the context. Firstly, even if it was true, and I wasn't saying it ironically, what the heck does it have to do with the defamation case he was reporting on? It didn't. And it was a sarcastic statement. I told the crowd to ignore the labels they put on you because, look, I'm the world's proudest Jewish Nazi, meaning these idiots call me a Nazi when I'm clearly, by the kipper on my head, a proud Jew. In that context, you would still write that when you know that I was saying it ironically. Like, I'm not saying I'm, like, that is the dumbest quote to say that I'm a proud Jewish Nazi. I'm, I'm a proud Jew. I was willing to give the chief reporter for the age the benefit of the doubt until he had no excuse for not either removing the lie or at least including my comment explaining the context of that video. Who since last year has increasingly business stoused with my husband. What thing did I do with her husband? I did but, one report on him. Yeah, no, you, you, it'd been really nasty between you two. Where? Show you me. Guys been like, you guys had been like trolling each other. Show me her. one post that I wrote about her husband. Anything, anything. Show me. Hey, um, one. Come on. Uh, you, were having a, you were having a crack at him. He was certainly having a crack at you. No, okay, you didn't write that. You wrote that we were having a stash. I didn't write, it, I've it never comes, posted about him. Never posted about him. Not once. Show me one time. Not once. Not once, bro. Show me. Show me one post I've ever posted about it. One. I did one story. So you're you saying it's all one way? It was one way. Because he had this, he was very... Mate, it was one way. It was one way. It was one way. I never posted about him once. Not even once. Not once. 
If you can show me, you see, you went on his word, on the word of a crook. No, 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 I went on the, just what was on, what was online. Which, yeah. Show me online then, show me yeah. online, one person. It might have been in her rib too, but anyway, keep going. In a what? In her, in her statement of claim. It, yeah. Um, yeah. So, not once, I did one report on them, on, not on, on, on that, that little fundraiser thing that they did, yeah. but that's it. Okay, never, no stoush, one way, yes, for a year he was targeting me. Mmm. He agreed, but even until today, that lie, with all the other lies he reported in that article, have never been corrected. They claim I'm fake news. I'm showing you here where this is clear fake news. But it is. It is. You say a stoush, it, I never posted about him once. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the one relevant part to Legrand's story, he couldn't even get right. Chip couldn't show me one single post to qualify that lie. But even until right now, he still hasn't corrected that fake news. On the payroll of a Canadian-based alt-right website. It's like, what does that mean? Well, that's uh, real, whatever, that's whatever. News. whatever. That's less. That's less fake than the rest of it. All right. Yeah, um, it's, just, it's, just it's a. It's a way to frame. It's a way to frame it. It's a way to frame it. Well, but it also it justifies why I call you. Uh, yeah, it justifies your fake news. <laughs> the argument as to why he's making this lie is to justify the previous lie. Good one, Chip. I provoke on-camera confrontations with Victoria Police. I come and do my job just like you do your job. They attack me. What do you want me to do? Okay. All right. By the way, when the mainstream media have received even a touch of the treatment I've received from Victoria Police, it's made national news. But when it happens to a news network they don't like, they blame the victim. They attack me. What do you want me to do? Okay. All right. Well, anyway, we can, uh, we can differ on that. Chip then did add something that would seem relevant unless he'd publish the end. He's previously been sued that. by his own brother. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that never that never happened. Like, it, he sued and then withdrew. So yeah. what? So yeah. why didn't you put so that part settled. in? It's settled. It, 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 there was no settlement. Like, it was, he just withdrew. Mmm, yeah. again. Yeah. In 2016, my older brother sued me, but then withdrew, settling with nothing. I guess the end of that tale didn't suit the age narrative. You know him. You're friends with my brother. Mm. Well, you know I'm, Manny. I'm, I know. You know him. You have yeah. his number. Yeah. 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 Ask him. Yeah. So yeah. get the get the context there. You guessed it. Even after speaking to me and ample time to contact my brother to get the story straight, Chip still has not updated his fake news report. You've gone into all my little things that are not completely true, and you frame things certainly things that aren't true or you haven't no. given the ending of the story. With him, you go, oh, oh he's a naughty crim. <laughs> he's a naughty crim. Yeah, that naughty crim he's laughing about there and painted in a much more positive light than me has an extensive criminal history and once even killed a man. But guess what? This week, Zara Gard Wilson settled her defamation case against Rebel and me without getting even one cent, or more importantly, not getting the article and video removed as she wanted. So I texted Chip yesterday to give him one more chance to set the record straight now that we essentially won the case with that settlement. He responded saying he helped his colleagues chase it up, proving this time he clearly has my number, so... That excuse can't be recycled. Imagine my shock this morning when The Age reports Zara Gard Wilson didn't get the damages, aggravated damages, or most importantly, she didn't get an order for the video and article to be removed, which again, watch it. If you haven't yet, it's real investigative journalism, something The Age pretends to stand for. The link again is in the description. But even though she didn't get any of what she set out to get, the age? Well, they're declaring it a draw. But a little win because I got my name in their silly little article. By the way, they also falsely claim we have to apologise for saying that Mr. Simon was charged. We don't. And we're not because it's inconsequential to the report. We are posting a correction, not an apology, which reads... In December last year, Rebel published a video and article about Lance Simon. The video and article made reference to Simon's wife, Zara Gard Wilson. Zara considered the video and article suggested 
defamatory things about her, including third-party comments on our social media page about her. We accept her husband was not charged with the threats to kill, and neither was Zara, and Rebel has removed the third-party comments. No apology. Let me be clear. At Rebel, we always post a correction when we get something wrong. In this case, police told us Mr. Simon was charged. The officer was confused because Mr. Simon was arrested for the threat to kill and bailed on another matter. We are happy to correct that. In fact, in December 2020, as soon as Guard Wilson published something to that effect, we updated all our articles to include her comment. But it made no difference to the broader story, the story she was trying to have us remove. Again, watch it. And one more thing. For anyone out there watching this, if someone defames you in comment sections on any of our platforms, let us know and we'll delete it immediately. You don't have to spend 100k to get us to do it because we have integrity. We correct our mistakes. We remove defamatory content posted by third parties. And thirdly, most importantly, we don't cower to anyone. So yes, the age is fake news. We absolutely won this case with that settlement.